Some are well recognised faces to those in the restaurant business, others have little name recognition beyond the kitchen brigades and friends in the industry. But all the chefs restaurant magazine brought together for a recent photo shoot have one thing in common. While they could walk down a high street unnoticed, show a member of the public a picture of their boss, and the chances are that person will instantly recognise Heston Blumenthal, Sat Baines or Marcus Waring. The group of chefs recently gathered in East London studio all earn their keep heading up kitchens and working behind stoves that ultimately belong to some of the most high profile chef restaurateurs in the land. Big Hospitality was there to quiz those hidden heroes on how it works to be a chef behind the chef, what lessons have been passed from boss to employee and back, and whether they harbour ambitions to have their own name above the door. We began by asking how their relationship with their big name boss works, and what pressure there is to keep up the high standards and maintain the direction of someone else's restaurant. I mean, Heston's quite busy, but he's still, he's still there. I mean, he's still in Bray quite often. Um, we have you know, scheduled tastings um, where in terms of development work um, we start with him and then kind of progress the idea uh, and then have kind of tastings with him um, just to make sure everything's going the way we want it to go. If Marcus isn't around I'll be running the pass and as soon as Marcus runs comes upstairs I basically fall back uh, a position. Um, not really um, as in falling back but I'm there on the sideline. Marcus is running the, running the kitchen uh, and if he has to get called off here and there, uh, I'm ready then to jump, pick it straight back up. Um, I'm always still in tune with the service because obviously you want to you want to know exactly where you are when Marcus goes and speaks to the chef's table or something like that. So um, it's quite a it's quite a hard thing to do, but it's also something that na it naturally naturally comes now. Uh, I actually know when uh, when Marcus is going to go off and when to pick it up and jump straight in. For several years now, I've been. Persuade, trying to persuade Fergus to come back into the kitchen from time to time. Once in a blue moon, he sort of will pop on a chef's jacket. But um, no, definitely, I think on a, on a daily basis, um, the the menu and the running of the kitchen is is um, it's all sort of decisions that I that I sort of head up. We're well, a seven day week operation, so it's so uh, you know we have a, a we've got a great team. Um, I run I, I basically run the day to day running of the kitchen, um, Simon's away, you know, I'm, I'm there no matter what, um, uh, if I'm away Simon will be there as well. I worked with Fergus in the kitchen um, although quite a few years ago and have a very clear idea of Fergus's vision of what actually Fergus wants within the, within the uh, dining room and I think Fergus is sort of quite happy that I understand those parameters and within that, then it's freedom for me to to play. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of pressure, for sure. The expectations of the the guests coming to the restaurant are so high. Um, he is a really high profile chef um, worldwide. So the guests, you know, a lot of guests, their whole trip, their whole vacation is planned around coming to eat uh, at our restaurant. So. Um, that's a lot, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of expectation to, to live up to. So in an industry based on constantly evolving, growing and maintaining quality, what lessons have they learnt from the chefs they cook for and what lessons have they taught them? I think the only, th only thing I could really think of is that uh, just, in, just from my background before, before coming to the Fat Duck, I, I lived in, and worked in Italy for like three and a half years. So a lot of, uh, I'm not Italian, but I you know I spent a lot of time there. So just bringing, you know, high, higher quality ingredients from Italy and just, just to show them what's available there. Obviously in my younger time uh, was spending with Marcus, I, I learned definitely how to cook. But I think now this, this period of my, my career, I'm learning more the business side of things, how to run a streamlined business. Um, also the drive Marcus has, you know, it rubs off on you. Um, he's a very focused man, um, very well driven. It just doesn't stop looking for faults, it really doesn't. Even if you think, as, as a chef, the kitchen's spotless, he always finds something, he doesn't stop. And he always says, you know, you've got to look for it to find it. And, it, you know, and sometimes it's really annoying when he comes up, he finds something, oh, I wish I found that. But that, that's why he's where he is, because he's just got that little edge to him. So are these chefs secretly plotting a move from being the power behind the throne to taking the top seat somewhere with their name above the door? Definitely, who knows what the future is going to be. I think I'm getting to a period in my time where I've worked behind the scenes for Marcus, and now I think I'm getting to a period of my life that now I think it's time for me to start um, profiling myself. 
uh, maybe in the next few years it'd be quite nice um, you know there could be a project coming up who knows um, that Marcus might grab hold of and I, I might um, be in the position where I'll be able to grab, say I'd love to grab hold of that a bit like what Ashley Palmer's done at uh, dinner um, it's a tricky question. I mean, that's, uh, I think, you know, it probably when, if you ask any chef when they start out what their end ambition is, is to have their own place. And I mean, there's a lot of different, you know, factors that go along with that. And uh, I mean, to be able to, you know, use the equipment that I do now, the, the, have access to the ingredients and the, and the people, you know, to, 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 to work with. Um, I'm quite lucky to do that. And I'm, I'm very happy to continue that for sure.